All right, so today we're going to take our brochure that we've created for the Age of Reason and we're going to um, format it. Again, make sure that you're done with all of your text before you begin formatting. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. So the first thing I'm going to do once that I'm done with this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add um, my title. So for my title, I'm just going to go to Insert and I'm going to add some word art. It depends if you're... Uh, if the person that you're studying has like a first name and a last name, um, my mine that I chose to do for this is just Voltaire. So I'm gonna use just like the name that he went by. You can change the font in uh, Word Art to be something that you that you like. And then once you're done, you hit OK. You can always make that a little bit larger and adjust it. Excuse me, adjust it slightly. And then I'm going to want to center my title right there. What I did before I started this was I created a folder on my desktop called Voltaire. And in there, I downloaded a bunch of images. And you'll see that I set one that to be called Voltaire Cover. So on, on my Microsoft Word document, to add a picture, I'm just going to go to Insert, Picture. I'm going to double click on my Voltaire Cover picture. I'm going to make it slightly smaller so that it fits nicely. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and just say that this uh, brochure created by Christopher Rubin. Now if you, got, if you got a space like that and you don't like it, just go ahead and click on the line spacing options and say remove space and then one thing that I've seen that I like is I want to insert a shape I'm going to choose this shape right down here it's like a scroll it seems like it would go well with my age of uh, reason concept and I'm going to place that shape um, where my where my name is I can then right click I can format that shape I can change the color of it I can also give it a border color. I can make the border a little thicker if I wanted to. And I can hit OK. And lastly, I can say order, send behind text. And now I have a nice little shape highlighting my name. All right, so that's step one. Okay, I created my title page. I'm content with it. And I'm gonna come back and I'll add a page border later. The next thing I'm gonna do is for each of my um, title, for each of my subtitles for my uh, document, I'm gonna also insert word art. So I'm gonna go to insert, word art. This goes relatively quickly. I can pick any word art that I want. Um, and once I've found one that I'm content with, Let's go with uh, this one for now. It'll pop up. Notice I highlighted the text first. I can change my font to be something that I, that I like. We can try this one. And I can hit OK. And there's my text. Okay, I can go ahead and I can center that. And then I can highlight my next text. Insert. Word art. Click there. Um, I'm going to look for that same, uh, you know, I actually don't remember what the type, the, the uh, text was. Let's see if I can go back and find. text. Let's go back here. You definitely want to pay attention to what text you use so it can be like consistent throughout the whole uh, project. Alright, and then I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to 
do that again. Again, just selecting word art. Insert word art. I found some information. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go down. go now that one might have come out a little bit small so I'm gonna actually take this and I'm gonna separate it into two separate word arts and you'll see right here I'm just gonna go ahead insert go to my French script Hit OK and then right underneath it, I'll do the same thing again. I'm just going to make it smaller. And there we go. And again, I can just take those, center them, and I'm good to go. I'm going to actually come back to this later I'm gonna move on so that I can show you guys a couple of other things how I want to insert my images next so first I'm gonna take my text I'm gonna make sure that it's justified and now I'm gonna insert an image I'm gonna insert my first image insert picture again I have this folder which is nice I'm gonna insert Voltaire 1 remember the instructions say the largest dimension of an image can be 1.5 inches. So I'm going to set it to 1.5 for my either the height or the width, whichever one is the larger dimension. It can't be larger than that. And I'm going to right click text wrapping and I'm going to say tight. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to wrap the text right around my image. I can then place it where I want it to be. Remember to make sure it stays within the within the columns that we created. Right, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to insert another image. So picture. We'll go with uh, this one next. Now that one's relatively large. Again, I'm going to take the larger dimension. And then I'm going to text wrap it tight. I'm going to put it right down here. I want it. I like the idea of two in each column, two images in each column. There we go. And then I can just continue um, adding images where I see fit. So again, insert picture. Let's actually move that one. You can move them anywhere once you've added them into your document. Let's see, text wrapping tight. I'm going to make sure it's not larger than 1.5 inches. So really I could actually have this image sit here in the middle if I wanted to, although personally I'm not a huge fan of that. So I'm going to set it back out here on the side. Let's go insert picture. Again, set the larger dimension to one and a half inches. Go ahead and text wrap it using text wrap tight. And I'm getting pretty close. You can see as I do this, my document's getting a little longer. So, so far, those two columns is proving to be pretty good. I do want to make sure that it fills my whole page. I'm going to insert my word art real quick. centered and then lastly I'm gonna add like maybe two more images insert picture definitely make sure that you add pictures that you haven't used yet set it to 1.5 inches up here in my format toolbar text wrap tight and I'm almost there insert one more image insert picture and let's see which one do I need to do still the 
this one right here. So it does help to have them numbered too so that you know where you want them to be added. And text wrapping type. There we go. So this is looking pretty good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add some horizontal lines. I'm going to do that by clicking here. I'm on my home tab. I'm going to add a horizontal line. And I'm going to do that uh, between each of my each of the sections that I created. So you can see I added a little bit more space there. And I can actually format these lines by just right clicking on them and say format horizontal line. I can make that horizontal, horizontal line a little bit thicker. Um, and I could change the color to anything that I want. Um, for now, I'm just going to make them black. So again, just format horizontal line. Keep in mind what you set the first one to because you probably want to keep it consistent. Hit OK. All right. So I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now. So my next step is going to be to um, insert, and actually I'm not that happy because I'm going to make, I'm going to bring this picture down slightly. And this image I want to bring in just a bit. I don't want anything outside of my columns. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do a quick look over my document. I'm content with how it looks. And so now the next step is I'm going to insert shapes and I'm going to insert uh, a column background for each of these. This is really the last step that you want to do. So please don't do this until you're totally done. As fun as it seems, don't do this till the end. Um, for, my, for mine, I'm going to use this rounded edges, but you could also use the sharp edges. I think they both look really good. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first uh, column. I'm going to just draw this shape. And I'm going to set it so that it needs to stay in my column. So each of my columns is about three inches. I'm going to make it 3.1 inches wide and eight inches tall. All right, we'll see how that works. We can always adjust it later. Once I've created that, I can format my auto shape. I can give it a fill color of my choice. So I might give it this one. Um, let's just go ahead and choose this kind of like soft red. I'm going to change it to no color, but you could choose to have a line color if you'd like. Um, we can set it so that it's behind text and hit OK. So now, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say order, send behind text, which it already is, and I'm going to right click my object again. I'm going to order, send to back so that the pictures also show up in front of it. I'm going to double check this object I just drew. I'm going to set it just how I want it. It's very important you get the first one right because watch what we're going to do. Once I have it set, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it two times. I'm going to do it once here. I'm actually going to move this up. And I'm going to copy and paste it again. There we go. I want my, I want my, um, I want my shape to be sent to the back, so it's behind the text already, but I also want it to be order send to back so that the images are, are able to be seen. Okay, I want to make sure that each of them is like nicely placed. 
I actually need one more. I'm going to place this one over here. On my title page. And again, order sent to back. And then the last thing I need to do is I want to change the color of each of these. So for this one, for example, I'll just go to Format Auto Shape. I'll go to Colors and Lines. And instead of that, I'm going to keep it on the same uh, like level. I'm going to change maybe this one to green. I'll go over here, Format Auto Shape. Maybe I'll change this one to purple. And maybe this last one I'll make orange. Okay, so they all blend relatively nicely. In the scheme of things, like in a perfect world, I would add a few a few last lines of text. So that it really like looks like I've filled my entire um, document. But aside from that, like this looks, uh, this is essentially what you want your final product to look like. All right. So from here, you guys got to see how we added word art, how we added images, how we wrap text around images. You got to see how we added a, uh, a shape. And actually, I'm going to change my auto shape color since it's the same as the background. Um, let's change it to just like a tan color. So that looks a little bit better right there. So it's good to just do a quick look over your document. Um, we learned how to put the backgrounds on. We learned how to put horizontal lines in our document. And now when we print it, right, we'll be able to fold this. It'll be a four fold document with this as our title page. And when people open it up, they'll see the rest of all um, the rest of the document that you created. So there you go. Good luck and have fun.